Are you excited to continue to learn from the book of John and study the Bible more? I'm, 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 I'm very excited every time I look at the Word of God and how I can relate and the Word of God speaks to my life and I believe the Word of God speaks to yours as well. John chapter 20 starting from verse 24 again. But Thomas, one of the twelve, called Didymus, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples were saying to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see his hands, the imprint of the nails, and put my finger into the place of the nails, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Again, Thomas struggled with his identity. But keep in mind, even though Thomas struggled with his identity, Jesus includes Thomas in this great destiny. He chose him to be one of the apostles. We know that Thomas' biggest problem is a sense of insignificance. So why don't you say with me right now, agree with me, Say it with me. I can overcome insignificance. I can overcome it. And with that, I want to share to you point number one. You need to know that you are significant, you are loved, and you are precious. You need to understand that Thomas was, was chosen because Jesus saw a potential in him. The same thing with you. Jesus saw potential in you. But until you see potential in yourself, it's impossible to accomplish anything significant. You have got to see, you have got to see significance in yourself. Your struggles with identity, I mentioned um, two days ago. Your struggles with identity can affect several things. It, it, it can affect your sense of safety, sense of significance, competence, achievements, you cannot focus, and it can affect your alignment, the timing, and relational capacity. Safety is about being protected. It's about being secure. It's about having order in your life. It's about having a sense of stability and a sense of certainty. And uh, have you ever experienced that you understand that uh, in your life, you can say to yourself, there is no order in your life. It is possible because you don't feel safe in your life. When you are not safe, you are not sure, you are not certain. What does it mean? That means it affects every decision you make. Which means also when you are not safe, you don't make the best decision in your life. When you don't feel safe to be who you are, your decision making processes are short-circuited. When you don't feel safe, you don't have a sense of security about what's going to happen in your life. You, 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 you move in fear instead of moving in faith. And uh, when, you, when you read the uh, other portion of the Bible, you can get a glimpse of this in the life of Thomas. Thomas doesn't feel safe enough to be protected by Jesus. So guess what? When Jesus called the disciples to go and visit Lazarus, who is already dead, guess what Thomas said? Let us go die with Jesus. Thomas doesn't see his life lasting beyond the next event beyond the next challenges beyond the next situation and the same thing on the night of the passover it was thomas when he heard jesus said 
I'm going to my father and you know the way. And guess what Thomas said? We didn't know the way. It's Thomas. It's Thomas who reveals his sense of, again, uncertainty about where to go. Point number two. Please understand that it is okay to be who you are. It's okay to be who you are. Thomas is called the twin. Again, automatically he is being compared to another. And the funny thing about this story or the strange thing about this story is he was, he was not a twin. Okay, So everything he does will be measured by the other because his identity is the twin. He doesn't feel safe because he's being compared. Can you identify with him? One of the most painful thing you can do in your life is compare yourself to someone else. And when it comes to success, when it comes to achieving goals, and you got to a place and all of a sudden you discover you didn't quite get there, you wanted to be but you feel like you want to be so and you you want to be like so and so you want you want to be like someone else and when you develop a pattern of that it's not just you that tells yourself you are not good enough watch this there are accusations that come from the power of darkness and they know how to go after your sense of safety. Meaning, at one time it may have been you would just compare this, you, you just compare to this person or that person. But then, now it's just like you are being compared to every other single person. Where do we get our security from? How do we develop a sense of safety? When we, when, when, when do we discover that it's okay to be who we are? What is it? Well, in the past several days, or maybe last week, I shared to you from the book of Psalms chapter 91. And if you want to get the security, and I remember a long time ago, I, 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 heard, this, I heard this song, Psalms 91, verse 1 and 2. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom will I trust. When you sing that song, remember? You remember that song. You memorize. When you put your trust in God, you know you will have your security you know that you are loved, you are significant, you are important, you are chosen by God. God bless you.